Hi, I am Anurag Data, your instructor for today. Hope all of you are fine and healthy. Today's topic is general relativity versus special relativity. Let's have a look at the topics we'll cover today. Let's have a brief overview of the topic. Relativity can be described as the study that highlights about how several observers estimate the same event. The word relativity might conjure with the likeness of Einstein, but the concept did not originate from him. The concept of relativity has been under investigation for many centuries. Classical relativity was clearly explained by Galileo and Newton, and theory of relativity, or simply relativity, was given by Albert Einstein, and generally refers to two theories, special theory of relativity, of 1905 and general theory of relativity, of 1916. Modern physics is based on the theory of relativity. So the first question is what is general relativity? The general theory of relativity or general relativity is a major building block of modern physics. General relativity is a metric theory of gravitation. General relativity predicts that the path of light will follow the curvature of spacetime as it passes near a star. This effect was initially confirmed by observing the light of stars or distant quasars being deflected as it passes the sun. As an example we can state that an observer will see a ball fall the same way in a rocket as it does on Earth, provided that the acceleration of the rocket is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. That is, the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the Earth. Now, what is special relativity? Albert Einstein's 1905 theory of special relativity is one of the most important papers ever published in the field of physics. Special relativity is an explanation of how speed affects mass, time and space. The theory includes a way for the speed of light c to define the relationship between energy and matter, small amounts of mass m can be interchangeable with enormous amounts of energy e, as defined by the classic equation e equals mc square. Special relativity applies to special cases, it's mostly used when discussing huge energies, ultra-fast speeds and astronomical distances, all without the complications of gravity. Einstein officially added gravity to his theories in 1915, with the publication of his paper on general relativity. Beginning with the behavior of light, and all other electromagnetic radiation, the theory of special relativity draws conclusions that are contrary to everyday experience but fully confirmed by experiments. Special relativity revealed that the speed of light is a limit that can be approached but not reached by any material object, it is the origin of the most famous equation in science, E equals mc square. And it has led to other tantalizing outcomes, such as the twin paradox. So these are the basic concepts and definitions of general relativity and special relativity. Now, we need to know the differences between general relativity and special relativity. So, the difference between general relativity and special relativity is that general relativity is related to gravity and acceleration, whereas special relativity is related to speed and time. General relativity shows the relation between observer and acceleration, whereas special relativity shows us the relation between observer and constant speed when in motion. Furthermore, the general theory of relativity discusses phenomena such as space-time curvature, which the special theory of relativity does not. In addition, the general theory of relativity is a more advanced and generalized version of the special theory of relativity.
General Relativity was published in the year of 1915 whereas Special Relativity was published in 1905. General Relativity considers and includes gravity, but, Special Relativity does not include gravity, as no forces are acting on it. So, do you know what is gravity? Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects toward each other. Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall. Anything that has mass also has gravity. Objects with more mass have more gravity. Laws of physics are the same for all the inertial and non-inertial systems in case of general relativity, but, for special relativity, the laws of physics are the same for only the inertial systems. Now the question is what are inertial and non-inertial frames? As long as the frame of reference is not moving or moving with a constant velocity it is termed as an inertial frame of reference. If the frame is accelerating or moving in a circular path with constant speed, it is termed as a non-inertial frame of reference. Special relativity provides a framework for translating physical events and laws into forms appropriate for any inertial frame of reference. General relativity addresses the problem of accelerated motion and gravity. General relativity talks about the curvature in space-time, whereas special relativity does not talk about any curves. General relativity is more complex and covers a greater part of the universe, whereas special relativity is a little simpler and covers a lesser part of the universe. Einstein has contributed a lot to the world of physics. His theories and findings have helped us understand a lot of mysteries. If Einstein and other physicists wouldn't have given their entire lives for this and had not done intensive researches, then our lives would have been difficult. We would not have understood so many things, both basic and complicated. That's all about today's topic. There's multiple experiments, different equations and results regarding general relativity and special relativity. Hope you have understood the basic concepts and differences between general relativity and special relativity. Thank you. So, that was all from my end. Hope you all liked the video. Please let us know in the comments section, if you have any suggestions. Cheers. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.